Cosmos Purity is a truly, truly splendid cut flower. And really often I just arrange it on its own because the foliage is perfect with the flower. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but actually there aren't that many plants where they are just perfect together. And Cosmos Purity is just one of those plants. Lovely, feathery, bright green leaves and beautiful white saucer flowers. But I'm not going to arrange it on its own this time. I'm going to do a proper mixed arrangement. And so what I've picked are six different ingredients, three foliage and three flowers. And um, before I arrange, I always split my ingredients into their groups. So what I've got is my first foliage plant, which is the most lovely thing, which I'm sure most of you know, called Ami Magus. And um, I'm going to just use what we call Molly's Jug, which is just this lovely, very pretty, um, little bright green milk jug. And because I've got the Ami, which will create my sieve, I don't actually need to use a pin holder, otherwise often I do use a pin holder um, in these jugs, even though they're quite small. But I know I won't need it, because the Ami will do that for me. You never want to have any stem, uh, uh, any leaf, sorry, below the water level. So that's why I'm just making sure if I cut it down a bit, I'm moving anything that might be. Now, you can already see it's just such a beautiful airy plant. And um, it can hold the other things now that I'm going to add. People think this is Ami is just cow parsley, but it's so much nicer, it's so much more delicate, um, and it doesn't smell and it doesn't drop, so it's, it's, um, it's in a different league, really. Now what I'm going to add, um, threading through that, is this beautiful green-flowered pea, which I'm obsessed by this year, Lathyrus chloranthus. Um, I use it picking quite a substantial section of the vine and I love its sort of tenderly relaxed nature um, so that it looks really kind of almost like you're picking a bit of a hedgerow um, and yet you've got these beautiful little chartreuse green flowers at the end. So I'm just threading that through the Emmy and you can see the Emmy is holding it perfectly and that's really what the role of that primary foliage that you first put in. So I might come back to those last two stems. I always keep a little bit back of each ingredient because I may need them at the end. And then light but yet denser in colour is this beautiful red millet which is a new thing on trial this year. Um, but we've absolutely loved it. We've got it in our dahlia trial, we've got it in pots. It's incredibly easy to grow from seed. It's a really good new addition to the grass repertoire and it's annual. Um, and so cut and come again to an extent, you can, you can pick it and more comes. And I love that sort of airy density that it gives, if that isn't a contradiction in terms. Okay, so I've got my foliage in place now, and now I'm going to add my flowers. Now I divide the flowers into rolls, so I've got my primary foliage, my secondary foliage, and my upper story. And similarly, with the flowers, I use three flowers, and I've got what I call my bride, which is the Cosmos Purity. And she's the thing that really the sort of the bunch is about in a way. And I've got her cut at different heights. I don't want them all to be the same height. I want some quite proud, um, what I call the horizon of the arrangement, and some um, cut shorter, which are the heart. So you've got both a heart and a horizon in your arrangement. And again, if you do that, it'll look more natural, it'll look more relaxed. Um, and I think with that, prettier. And why do you need both? Well, if you have all horizon, it almost looks like it's about to fall out of the vase. If you have all heart, it's just too too dumpy um, and, and feels too sort of tied in. And so if you have both, you've got, the, I think, the perfect balance. And so you can see this little vase, but, um, you know, it's quite short. But actually, I'm getting some decent height in here. 
Right, so now I'm going to concentrate on the heart. So some cut down, and hopefully you'll see what I mean, that by having both... Oh no, that didn't go into the... It really helps make the thing feel like a really three-dimensional arrangement. Right, so now the next thing, I've got Gara the Bride, and this has been seared, the stemmings have been seared in boiling water to make sure that they last. And the bridesmaid, sorry, did I say the bride? I meant the bridesmaid. The bridesmaid um, wants to be the same colour or similar to the bride, but not as dominant. And so she backs up the bride and doesn't compete with her. And as a general rule, I would always pick um, a bride and bridesmaid, as I say, very, very similar colours. Because otherwise, if you introduce another colour at this stage, it just makes the whole thing a bit too fussy, to be honest, and a bit too much going on. Well, look, that's a good one, so that can go, not bang in the centre, but quite central. Now, strictly speaking, you should always be turning it around so that you check its balance, and I, and I will do that at the end. So then, again, I'll keep one stem back of that in case I need it. And then the final thing that I'm going to add into here to give it a bit of oomph, I hope, um, because at the moment it's quite airy and quite um, ethereal, is I'm not going to put a colour in here, or not a strong colour, that is, but I'm going to put in a green, and this is Nicotia Lime Green, and the point of this is that it adds a bit of contrast, but because I want this to be almost like a handful of the hedgerow, um, well not the hedgerow, but the roadside, um, this Nick Lime Green is, is perfect for it because it's got such a natural feel. And then just finally revisit with a few stems I've kept back. And just balance that big one with that. And then the Ami can also be used in the back there to balance it and gives it a nice horizon. And the Sweet, the pea, not the sweet pea, can come right out at the sides because you want it to go up about twice, two to three times the height of the vase and you want it to come out more like five or six times the neck of the vase and then you have something that I think looks balanced and correct. Beautiful but not too tidy. And so here we are, a Cosmos Purity arrangement but... Cosmos Purity, not just on its own, but as the bride, as a centrepiece of this almost roadside, wild, flowery style arrangement.